Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to show you how to add the battery widget on the iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so a lot of people are searching for this because the battery widget isn't turned on by default. Some people are looking for it on the home screen, some on the lock screen, and sometimes there's an issue where this won't show up at all or none of these options will show up. Sometimes it's just a matter of you updated your iPhone to a new version of iOS and it's disappeared. So I'm going to show you the exact steps first on how to add this and then I'll explain why some accessories don't show up and how you can fix it. All right, so let's get into this. I'll show you how to add the battery widget to the home screen. First thing you need to do, tap and hold. You'll see that the app starts shaking. You want to tap edit at the top then tap add widget. It should pop up very similar to this. You might see more apps and things. You have a search option and you have all the apps that you can add widgets from. Tap on the battery option or search for it in the search box. Now these are the kinds of widgets you can choose. This last one here is the full detailed option. So it's gonna take up the most space. This one is a medium, the one you saw in my preview here. And then this one's a very small one. So you can choose whichever one you want. For this example, we'll just start with this one and we'll add that in. Instantly, it adds it in, they're still shaking and you can resize this to the large one if you'd like. And you saw my apps now moved. You can bring it back down to the medium or even pull it inwards to the little square. So it's up to you. But that is the general way you add the battery widget to your iPhone. Now, for those of you looking to add it to your lock screen, so your phone is locked, it's like this. You would need to unlock it, so face ID, and then you wanna tap and hold, and you're going to customize your lock screen. So tap on customize, and you get a section down here that says add widget. If we tap on that, very similar, we can now add battery widgets here. So we'll tap on battery and we have two options this time. So we can choose the larger one. We can even add in the smaller one and add a second one if we want, but it's pretty much going to choose one thing that it's going to connect to. No matter which one you choose, it's showing the larger option, my AirPods with 37% battery and then the small option will show the same. So you're getting AirPod batteries uh, for me anyway right now. If I didn't have AirPods connected, it may show Apple Watch, but that's how you add it to your lock screen and then you just tap done at the top and then tap on it. And this is how it'll look when you now lock and unlock your phone. Now, for those of you who are having troubleshooting issues where your battery widget is there, but your items, your AirPods, your Apple Watch are not showing up, you have to understand that this will only show when those devices are connected. Now, obviously, I have my AirPods case there. I have the AirPods showing up as well. Um, and I have my Apple Watch. Now, if I disconnected my Apple Watch from Bluetooth, for this example, I'm just going to turn off my Apple Watch here. And um, basically, we'll see if it disconnects. So just hold on the side button. If you want to test it for yourself, there's a little power option at the top there. Tap on that and we'll power it off. It should remove the Apple Watch battery uh, from its system there in a few seconds. I'll just uh, turn airplane on and off just to help it reset. And you can see that now the Apple Watch battery has disappeared and it's added in my AirPods Max battery power here instead. So I do have the AirPods Max here. So for example, now if I go into my settings and I go to Bluetooth and I turn it off in general, and I go back here, we'll go airplane mode again, and we'll exit out. You'll see that they all disappear except for the iPhone. So your reasoning for not seeing various items in your battery is most likely a connection issue. They have to be connected, so you need to have Bluetooth turned on. You definitely can see that they all returned. And then in settings here as well, when you have your Bluetooth devices, so we'll go back into Bluetooth, you can see all the devices I have here. And I tap on my AirPods Max. If I scroll all the way to the bottom and you say, forget this device, and it's no longer something that is paired, it's not even on your list here, then that's no longer going to be there, it's gone. 
And because I removed the AirPods Max, now on my lock screen, it's gone as well. It's showing my AirPods 4 and uh, they're at 100%. So the reasoning for you not seeing items in this battery percentage section here is almost 90% due to a connection issue. The other thing is, if you're not seeing something here, just simply open the lid of your AirPods and close it. Bring it close by, open and close. It'll probably pop up there and then it'll stay. Sometimes restarting your iPhone will then trigger it to reconnect because it could be glitches as well. So you never know exactly what the situation is. Now, another thing I wanna show you with this widget I'm gonna use this. This is actually a really cool three-in-one charger. Not sponsored or anything, but I'll link it in the video description if you wanna check it out. You can charge your phone, uh, Apple Watch, and even AirPods in the back. But I'm gonna show you on this because this is uh, how it'll work with the standby mode. And when I put my phone on it like this, it'll enter standby mode. So you can see a little charging icon, but you can actually add the battery percentage icon here as well. So you tap and hold, it'll unlock with face ID, and you can tap the plus up here. Again, very similar to the other ones. Tap on battery, and here you can add the widget. This time you only get the square widget, but you can add that in, tap done. And now I'm on my standby mode. So if you ever have your phone on a charger at night, I use this charger. On the side of the bed you can see your battery percentages of all your devices as well and uh, just to show you again here i'm going to turn my apple watch back on so we'll get that widget back in a second but that's another way that you can add battery widgets to your iphone now if you ever want to remove or delete any of these battery widgets from your iphone or change them you can you just tap and hold on those specific ones it has a remove option or you can tap and change the look of it like that as well. You can also tap and hold, continue holding, and it'll give you the ability to kind of uh, move it around like that or change its size. And you can drag it up or down to place it where you want. And you can see my Apple Watch came back now. And then when you're done, tap done. Additionally, you wanna remove it completely. You can tap and hold or tap remove and then tap the minus up top and remove it. It's gone, you don't have that widget anymore. So in the lock screen, same deal here, you're going to have to unlock it with face ID, then tap and hold, you're gonna customize, and then you're just gonna tap into that box, tap those minuses if you don't want those anymore, and then just uh, tap away and tap done to confirm it. And you can tap on your lock screen. I have tons of videos like this that show you how to create these lock screens, change the font of the time. A lot of people are complaining about the clock. They can't see it with liquid glass. I even have a tutorial video on how to remove liquid glass from your iPhone. It's not just that setting. So if you are looking for more videos, definitely take a look at my channel and I have a full playlist. But if this video was useful for you, showing you how to add the battery widget to your iPhone, give me a like, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And if you ran into trouble or had a question that I didn't respond to in this video, let me know in the comments because I'll give you guys a response and I'll help you out. And that way you can get yourself going with whatever issue that you're having with it. But it's pretty straightforward. Main thing is to be connected to the devices and have Bluetooth turned on on your iPhone. So that is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.